Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a speed build. So today we are building a Victorian house because ever since Strangerville came out, um, I've been obsessing over the town in general. I mean, honestly, we'll talk about it later, but I'm kind of like over the pack now because I've already like finished a little mystery, but I'm still so, 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 so in love with the world. I think it's beautiful and I'm obsessed with this neighborhood, which, you know, I forget the actual name of it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. It's the wealthier side of town with all the beautiful Victorian houses. So I was definitely excited to you know, come up with a little Victorian house myself, but let me tell you something. This house right here turned out wonderful. Love it. But, um, yeah, I struggled. I probably attempted a good three or four, and I just couldn't do it. I just did not like how they was turning out, um, and I think it's got a lot to do with the, the medium and the large wall heights that come with the Victorian style houses and the windows and everything. It was honestly just kind of throwing me off and I just, I don't know, I just was picky and could not figure out what I liked, what style I wanted to go for. Um, I even tried to renovate one of the houses already there. Um, I may still continue to do that because it was kind of turning out all right. But anyways, I decided um, to, you know, look on Pinterest for some inspiration as always. And I found this house and I'm going to call it a farmhouse Victorian because it definitely gives me farmhouse vibes but it's a Victorian house so I think it's so cute so perfect and uh, my boyfriend was watching me build this uh, I was finishing it up and I was kind of giving him a little tour of it because I'm proud of my houses sometimes okay and I'm trying to get him to understand um, the love and appreciation that I have for the sims and the creativity and how much fun you can have building so he doesn't think I'm a crazy person always playing you know make-believe big girl Barbies, whatever you want to call it. Um, but anyways, he was like, uh, that's it's like a farmhouse. And I was like, yeah, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. So you see what I was going for. I was going for, you know, <laughs> a, a farmhouse Victorian. And he was like, no, it's like in the middle of a desert. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> and so I was like thinking about it and I was almost scratched the idea. And I was like, wait, maybe he does make sense. But then I was like, no, it just has that vibe, okay? It doesn't matter. Maybe there is farms in the desert. I'm not from the desert. I'm actually from the south where there is a lot of farms. Um, and if y'all know me and have watched any of my speed builds, you know that I am holding out for a southern world. Somehow, some way, shape, or form. Something to where I can build my farmhouses, have a farm, beautiful land. I would just, I would love to see that in a world. But anyways, I don't think that the little farmhouse vibe I was going for looked bad necessarily with this Victorian um, neighborhood that I was building in in the desert. I absolutely, I just, I love this neighborhood. I think every lot is so beautiful. You're up on the hills. I love the gravel driveways. It's just so beautiful. I really am a fan of it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So I, the reason I wanted to kind of do like farmhouse vibe is because as many times as I attempted to build a Victorian house, I would go into the interior and I would just kind of want to go towards like this farmhousey theme. So when I found this floor plan on Pinterest and I can probably, yeah, I can link that. I think it was Pinterest. Yeah, it was Pinterest. Sometimes I'd use Pinterest. Sometimes I just Google, but I, it was, ugh. if it was Pinterest, I will link that floor plan down below. I know some of you have asked me to link my floor plans that I follow. Um, I guess I don't know why y'all want to see that, but I know a lot of people enjoy that, so I, I may do that, but anyways, um, I was like, well, this kind of looks like a Victorian farmhouse, and since I'm like navigating towards this farmhouse theme, I think it's perfect, so yeah, that was the little inspiration and design um, idea behind the house, but anyways, I kind of struggled with a wraparound porch. I kind of wanted to do a wraparound porch, or not all the way wraparound, but kind of wrapped around that back side of the house, but I decided that it didn't look right. I couldn't really quite figure out the roof, and I didn't really want to change the rest of the roof, and so I ended up just putting the stairs right there at the end of the porch. So, yeah, the only bad thing about this lot is that it's not very big, um, which 
I have my problems with that in general, and I don't think I've talked about it in a speed build. So since this is quite a lengthy one, let's just go ahead and talk about one of my annoyances. And you know that I don't complain very often about The Sims 4, just The Sims in general, because I enjoy the game. I'm a fan of the game. I try not to compare it to past generations of the game because it's its own, you know, generation. You know, we get new stuff, we get different stuff, and I, I love the aesthetic and the cartoony vibe and how bright and pretty the world is. Um, so I just, I try not to complain too much, but I'm going to complain right now. So anyways, here's my complaint. The lots. I kind of miss, if I miss anything from The Sims 3, I miss, and The Sims 2, yeah, I miss that you can put whatever size lot you want anywhere, anywhere, you know? It's just, it's a bummer when you're limited to certain, certain size lots, which I mean, I guess is realistic, but not really. But I understand why, because it just, it wouldn't work that way with The Sims 4. Um, but it's annoying, and I find that annoying when I go to build houses because I wanted to build, you know, on this plot of land because I really like the driveway. But I was like, well, I wish I could make this a little bit bigger, or I wish I could go off the grid a little bit. See, the yard looks much bigger, but I was only allowed to build on that little bit of land. And it was just aggravating me because it was a farmhouse, and I was like, no, I want like a Obviously, I can't have a farm. We don't have farm animals, but I wanted there to be like a garden, and I did put a garden in the backyard. Um, I think it looks nice, but I, I wanted to do so much more with it, but I just didn't have the space, and you know, I struggled a little bit with the landscaping as well because um, I'm like, okay, this is a desert. This is a farmhouse, but this is still a desert, and so I was trying to incorporate a bunch of desert themed plants and I know a lot of people complain and here I am complaining about it too but I really do wish that we would have gotten some new plants with this world I wish we would have gotten some new curtains some new cow just a little bit more than what we got but it's a game pack I understand it's fine but yeah I mean there's so many new plants that's around Strange Town you know those cactuses over there you can see see right there on the corner of the lot that have the pretty pink flowers blooming, why didn't they include that? And they're not in debug or anything like that. So, I mean, that's kind of a bummer, but it's a game pack. We were limited, so, like I said, not going to complain too, too much about it. But, yeah, I tried with the landscaping, but I think it turned out really nice. And also, um, you're going to see that, actually, when I go into the interior, especially upstairs, but I kind of struggled with the windows. And I don't know. I want to know from builders if you like to build on The Sims. Do you, when you have a house, when you're building a house that has the medium or tall wall height on the bottom floor, what do you make your top floor? Like if you have a second floor. I know some people do regular short wall height and use the regular, you know, short windows just because it kind of looks better. Um, and it's kind of more realistic to be an upstairs. But for me, it just looks awkward. <laughs> it just looks really unproportionate. So, um, yeah, I definitely struggle with the windows and the roofing. And um, when I go upstairs, you'll see I am just, just ignore that. I go back and forth moving the windows up and down and the roof. But anyways, I think I figured it out. Overall, I think the house looks so nice. And then also, I forgot to mention this, but... In the front, where it looks like there's a balcony over the porch, that was kind of the idea. Um, and in the actual plan that I was following, there was a door, and it was like a little balcony, and it's part of the master suite. But I didn't really have the room for it. Well, I could have put a door there, but it just looked silly, and I just didn't like it. So I put the windows there and kind of gave the illusion that it was a balcony. But the only thing I could not figure out was how to put the fence on the side. I don't know if that's just something you can't do in building. I've never had that problem before. If anybody knows, let me know. But you'll know what I'm talking about. I was able to put that blue and white fence that I use like around the porch, up on the balcony in the front part. But to connect it to the wall and the windows, it just wasn't working. And I tried to play around the roof and figure it out. But I just, I couldn't figure it out. But anyways, yeah, the backyard in the garden is coming along nice. Um, as far as like the family that I imagine living here, 
I didn't put like a lot of thought into their backstory, but as I was decorating the house, um, I kind of imagined that it would be the mom who is definitely into like gardening and even the dad, you know, it's, it's the desert, but whatever. They're into like flowers and plants and herbs and stuff like that. And later I actually put the flower arranging table out back um, behind the, um, the garden up against the fireplace. I just imagined that that'd be like a fun little hobby for the mom to do. Um, so I don't know. I don't really, I didn't think of like what careers I saw them in or anything like that. I just, I definitely imagined this house would be for a big family. It's a big house. Um, but what I love about it is that it's big. It's got three bedrooms. Oh, four bedrooms upstairs, but downstairs there's like an office room. You could definitely use that for a fifth bedroom if you wanted to, but I used it for, you know, an office space. But yeah, it's a big house for a perfect family size house, but it's still cozy. It's not too open. It's like the perfect floor plan. Um, I love it. I love it when you start to build a house and it just starts to flow and come together. So yeah, in the interior of the house, you can definitely see my, uh, <laughs> my theme I was going for when it comes to the farmhouse theme. I don't know, everything that I was building before in my previous attempts at Victorian house, just looked so farmhousey to me and it just didn't fit the the vibe of the Victorian that I was thinking in my head so like I said when I saw that floor plan it just reminded me of a country southern farmhouse Victorian style if that makes sense it was just like a blend of the two and I thought it was so cute and yeah I'm I'm excited for this build I hope you guys like it I worked really hard on it because in case you didn't watch my last video, which was the Langerick family recreation of my Sims 3 to Sims 4 series, I actually gave like a little update on my channel. And for those of you who are watching this but don't follow me on Twitter, or maybe you didn't see the post in the community tab, or you didn't watch that video, basically, um, I am stepping back a little bit from my channel, but... Honestly, I'm really not stepping back. It's just that <sighs> being pregnant and not having a job right now and just kind of preparing for a baby and trying to busy myself and learn and just have a lot going on right now. I didn't want to pressure myself so much with being consistent and uploading consistently. So I did say that I was going to put a pause on the Let's Plays which really the only Let's Plays I have are The Sims 2 Let's Plays, which was Pleasant View, which was wrapping up anyways. And I had just kind of started Strange Town. Um, and I did say, you know, I'm going to focus primarily on speed builds, apartment renovations, things that I can do voiceovers to that I don't have to be consistent with um, and post every week. You know, I just feel like when you do a Let's Play, you have to be consistent because it's a story and people want to know what happens next. Um, and like I said, I did say that I was going to wrap those up, but I, I kind of thought about it, um, and I'm so, so close to finishing Pleasant View, and I do a terrible job at finishing what I start. And since Pleasant View has been so popular, I know a lot of you have been following it from the very beginning. There's just not a lot of Sims 2 videos, so what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to wrap it up. I am. It's just not going to be consistent. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to say, oh, it's going to be every Monday, expect this. It's just going to be when I have time. Um, so I am going to wrap it up because I only have maybe four more parts until it's the final wrap. And I want to wrap the season up. I don't want to just end it abruptly and then start back up once I have more time to do Let's Plays. Like, oh, okay, here's season two. And you're like, no, you didn't even finish season one, girl. Please stop. <laughs> so I am going to do that. So Yay, you're welcome. But as far as Strange Town goes, um, we'll see. We're going to play it by ear because um, after I finish Pleasant View and wrap that up, I may have time to record and edit one Let's Play um, a week. So we'll see. It's not really that I don't have the time because I do. I build a lot. <laughs> like I said, I don't have a job. So days that I don't have like any errands to run or cleaning and organizing or anything like that to do. Um, when I have the house to myself, when everybody's at work, I have the time to sit down and do a voiceover and, 
but you know, at night when everybody's chilling and hanging out in the living room, I'll bring my laptop in here and I'm building. You know, I'm still working on my channel, so I say I'm taking a step back, but it's really just I'm not. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We're gonna play it by ear, but that's where I am with the channel. But yeah, I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun building so far. Um, I just finished this house, which, like I said, took me a while because it was a bigger house. It took me about four days to finish because I didn't want to like burn myself out. I just I'm so scared of burning myself out because it happens when you have a YouTube channel, and especially with the sim. So I'm just I'm trying not to burn myself out, but. Yeah, I built this. Um, I'm working on an apartment, which is turning out so cute. Um, I have a Sims 3 to Sims 4 that's already pre-recorded. I just have to do the voiceover and upload that, and then I'm working on the next one. So I have a lot going on. I'm working on the channel, you guys, like I said. Um, so I'm, I'm still working on it. But anyways, back to the speed build. Um, I think I'm in the kitchen. I think I'm doing the little dining room right here. Um, or the little breakfast nook, I guess you would say. And I say I guess because I updated to Filmora 9, which does not have the render option like the past versions of Filmora had. It's supposed to be like real-time render. Um, that way you have less editing time, which I, I was kind of like eh, on the fence about it. Like, yeah, bull crap. This is not working. This looks, this looks very choppy and looks like I'm all over the place. I don't even know where I'm at right now. When I used it um, with the past video, the last video I posted, Langerix. But once I went back and uploaded the video, it was right. Everything, I thought I was in one room, I was there. So it was on time. Um, it just kind of gets choppy as I'm watching it playing back. So yeah, I think I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> so hopefully it's still working and it's still doing good. But I love the kitchen. It's just, look how farmhousey it looks, y'all. I love farmhouses. Fun fact, that is my absolute dream house is a white farmhouse and just this little Victorian house. You know, I could even put a twist on my own little dream house and do the little bay window right here like the Victorian style houses have. And yeah, I just think it looks so nice. But I did put two pet bowls in the house. And as you saw in the living room, I did um, give a little space and area for a cat. Because, I don't know, I imagine, you know, farmhouse vibes, big family, that they would have pets. So, I imagine them having a cat and a dog. I imagine that the dog is a family dog. It's been in the family since, you know, all the kids were young. Um, but the cat is actually the teenager's cat. Um, I don't know, I just imagine she'd be like a cat person. But, I don't think I ever told, I don't, I didn't even finish telling you guys about the family. I think I started talking about it and then I got sidetracked. Which, that's not surprising. <laughs> but back to the family that I imagine living here. Like I said, I didn't really go into too much detail thinking about, oh, their career is this, their career is that. But I definitely see it being a mom and dad. They're adults. Um, they have a teenage daughter, a child, and two children, a boy and a girl. Um, I didn't imagine this being um, like a younger couple with a young little family. So there is no toddlers. I imagine that. You know, one of the kids, maybe the boy is a little bit older than the child girl, his little sister. Um, even though they're both children, I would imagine that he would just age up before her. Um, that way, I, I, I didn't imagine them being twins is what I'm trying to say. And typically, if you go into create a sim, you know, and you make two children at the same time, they're going to age up at the same time. So, I don't know how that would work. But, I mean, if you have a family in mind that you think would enjoy this house and suit this house, well, there you go. <laughs> but, anyways, here we are in the dining room. And I actually end up changing the rug. So, you'll see once I go into the computer room, yeah, I, I go back and I switch the rugs out, which I think looks like a lot better when, when I switch it out. You'll see. And I end up deleting the door, which... I like the door originally that I had better because it was medium wall height, so it matched the house a lot more on the outside, but I really, really wanted to use that um, china cabinet there in the dining room. I don't know. I just it, I just figured it, it matched the farmhouse theme I was going for perfectly, and I didn't want to cover up the window because I wanted there to be a window, um, so yeah, I did that, and I think it turned out okay it's a little bit shorter like I said than the other doors in the house but it's fine just don't look at it too much 
maybe it won't bother your OCD like it did mine. <laughs> um, and also, when I was building this house, I don't know, you probably couldn't tell with me doing the floor plan and everything, but I was did not know where I was going to put the laundry room. I don't even remember where the laundry room was in the original house. But I was like, okay, originally this was just like just a bathroom. And I didn't know where I was going to put my laundry because y'all know I love laundry. <laughs> and it's so realistic. You have to have a laundry room. So I was like, okay, I can put like a basement down there. But then, you know me, I'm getting so much better at manipulating floor plans and making them work. So I put like a little hallway right there. And um, that's where I included the bathroom downstairs and the little laundry room. So typically I would rather have the laundry room over by the kitchen. But it just didn't work out that way. But. I still think it looks nice, it's functional, it's just realistic, so yeah, we have our laundry room, um, and I just put like a little clothes basket down there, and a ironing table, and that is it, and moving on to as a little hobby room, I guess you would say, office, I included a desk and bookshelf, of course, I was going to put a laptop just because it's I think everybody's favorite now, but I imagine since this is the family office that they would have a desktop. Typically in family houses or offices, you have a desktop computer. So I put the desktop in there, but upstairs you'll see, um, especially in the children's room, I gave all of the children a desk, but I left it kind of blank um, as far as like a computer. That way if the teenager wanted to purchase a laptop for school or maybe university one day when we get university. University. She can do that when the children age up. They have desks where they can utilize a laptop as well. So yeah, I just imagine that this, like I said, is the, the family office. So I'll put some bills down. You know, mom's working on the bills, um, a calendar, little lamp, whatnot. And I gave them a chess table um, just because sometimes, you know, I, like I said, I don't know what career they would be in. I didn't think that much into it. Let me know what you think. But you need the logic skill on a lot of careers. And unfortunately, something else I missed from The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, you can't get on the computer and play chess anymore, which was so convenient. Now you either have to own a chess table, which honestly, who owns chess tables? I don't know anybody that owns a chess table at their house. But maybe that's just me. Um, so anyways, I gave them a chess table. And then I put um, a... A treadmill in front of the closet so you probably can't access the closet downstairs um, but I imagine that you wouldn't really need to it's just kind of stored since they're using it um, as a hobby room office or whatever instead of it being a bedroom and then also I did this off camera but I did realize I didn't add the decoration box that I try to you know add for you know all the houses that way if you have seasons when you download the house, it's already there. You can decorate the exterior and everything of your house according to the seasons. So if you download this house, you will find that I did add that. And I put it kind of right there in front of the closet door. So, yeah, you can't use that closet. But like I said, it's not that big of a deal. And I also added a thermostat downstairs, which I, I forgot as well. <laughs> you need those because if you have seasons, if you don't have a thermostat, your Sims are going to get like really hot and they need some cool air when they come inside their house and it matters. So I did add that. Um, so sorry I forgot about it. But yeah, here I am upstairs in the master bedroom suite, which I love. I think it's so pretty. And once again, just don't mind me. I changed the heights of the window. Or not, I don't change the heights. I moved them up and down like three different times. Um, just because from the exterior point of view, it looked better being raised up. But those windows are supposed to be down one. <laughs> so um, I had to adjust my roofing to make it work. So I finally figured that out. And um, I do lower the windows. But anyways, I think the parents' bedroom is so pretty. It's just so calming. And blue is just a very calming color, which is why I love this house so much. It's got a lot of blue, a lot of yellow, and a lot of cream. And it just is so homey. But I love their little seating area over there. Um, the only thing that I don't really like about their room is that I gave them the big master walk-in closet. Because, you know, 
f pro tip. It just takes up a lot of space. <laughs> so I did that and I wasn't able to fit another end table right there. Which, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But it just kind of looks a little bit off balance. But, you know, it makes sense. And I did put the family dog's bed at the end of their bed. Just because I imagine, like I said, it'd be the family dog. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> And all my experience of playing with cats and dogs in The Sims 4, I have noticed something. I have noticed that the dogs always end up sleeping on the couch or on the floor beside the bed. Nine times out of ten, I never see them use their bed unless they're napping or something during the day. But when they go to bed at night, when the family goes to bed, if I have a little bed in their room, I never see my dog or cat or anything use that. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But over here... Um, before you go into the bathroom for the master suite, um, there's this little room here, and I imagine it would kind of just be like a little makeup room. I put a bookshelf in there, and there a camper. I used the debug um, sheet, and I pulled out like the eyeshadow palette and some lipstick and stuff, and kind of added it to the desk as well, um, or the little vanity area as well. So yeah, fun tip. Um, debug is life. <laughs> I'm so glad that I learned how to use debug because for the longest time, and I've mentioned this before, I thought putting in show bb.show hidden objects was debug, but it's not. You actually have to type in debug and then you have to go to the search bar and type in debug for all the debug items to show up um, in the catalog. So yeah, it's a lot of fun, but the only thing that I don't like about it or I find really annoying is that there are so many debug so many debug <laughs> items that I just scroll, 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 scroll. I know what I'm looking for, but I just can't find it ever. So usually when I go into debug and I'm using an object, you don't see it, but I cut out a huge chunk of me just scrolling, trying to find what I'm looking for. But anyways, moving on to this bedroom. Like I said, I imagine it would be a teenager's room. And I did imagine it being a teenage girl. Um, I don't know. I I wanted her to, I don't know, I didn't want her room to look too childish, so I kind of went for like a gray theme, which I think is so pretty because I never use that bed, ever. I don't know why, I just don't. I either use gray, or I'm just kidding, not gray, I either use white wood when I do my interior, or either use like, you know, wood like a dark wood or a light wood I never use gray and I love gray <laughs> I just never use it as a color combination in my houses so I don't know I just I like that gray wallpaper and kind of went off of that and I found that color swatch of that bed and I just thought it was so pretty and I don't know I would definitely I could definitely see that being my bedroom I just it's it's chill it's laid back it's calm looking I really like it and I did try to give her, you know, a touch of personality. That way you know it is a teenager's bedroom. So, um, I ended up giving her, like, a little dresser. She does have a closet. But I did give her a dresser as well. And then I also gave her a desk and a bookshelf. Like I said, I left the desk. Well, I cluttered the desk up a little bit. I gave her a journal and stuff like that. But I also kept it blank that way. Or not blank. <laughs> I left a space for a computer in case you wanted to own this house and purchase a laptop and she could just keep it in her inventory, take it to school with her, take it to the library with her and then when she wanted to come home and chill in her room, you know, she could take it out and play her sims at her desk, you know. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm so happy we got, so happy, so happy that we got laptops and I've mentioned this before in a speed bill, but since I'm kind of over Strangerville, we can talk about that. Um, I'm not over Strangerville as in, oh, I don't like it anymore. I like it. I like the world. I like the career. I like the laptop. I like the items that we got. Um, but I'm just, I've already finished the mystery, so it was fun. It was cool. It was different. I like those story-oriented packs. I really do. But I'm ready for university now. <laughs> I'm so anxious for university. Um, and I've mentioned this before. Like I said, I hope that, I don't know if it's going to be gen, gen, university. What's university? I was going to say university, but also like get educated or get to school or something like that. Um, I would like to see something a little bit more than university. 
And what I mean by that is give us an education career, okay? Please give us an education career. We need that so bad. And why not include it in university or, you know, like I said, get to school, get educated and give a little bit of more detail to, you know, the school and more activities and stuff for the kids to do, um, not necessarily where you can go to school with them, but definitely for university, we need a university town to go to with the dorms and the sororities like we've seen in the past, but also something that we've never had in past generations of the game that, oh my gosh, I really, really, really hope that they thought of <laughs> when they were developing university is that not everybody goes away to college, you know. Sometimes you just can't afford to go stay in a dorm. You don't want to travel that far. Um, you don't want to go stay in a house or an apartment or a university. Some people stay at home while they're in college. They're saving money and their parents don't mind. Or maybe they go to a community college. I want that option so bad to where you can either travel with your sim and go to classes with them not really sure how that's going to work in The Sims 4 since it's not open world. Uh, I'm curious to see how they're going to do that. But whether we go with them or whether you just send them alone, kind of like you do with certain careers, I think that would be really, really cool. That way, you know, say I imagine The Sim is in college, that teenage girl. Say she's in college. Um, okay, if I wanted to spend some time with, like, the family, she would just, like, go to school and you can have – you know, her study hard and do all of that and interact, but she could also travel to the campus of the school that she's going to and, you know, meet people and get involved, but you don't have to, like, always go with her, and she can live at home. Basically, the whole live at home option while in college is definitely something that I hope that they consider when they give us university or whatever they're planning. I'm so anxious <laughs> because I know it's going to be different because it's The Sims 4. It's not open world, so I'm just excited to see what they're going to give us. I hope that we get something like that with that option to where you can live at home. I hope that we get, um, like I was saying, what did I say? Well, I was saying a lot. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? Oh, the education career. Duh, yes. I want the education career. Y'all, my dog is looking at me like, <laughs> I'm so stupid. She's like, who are you talking to, bitch? <laughs> God, sorry. Anyway, she distracted me by staring at me, but <laughs> I want the university, not university, education career. And then one more thing that I really would like to see is the roommate option, which I do believe we got in past generations of the game, where you have the option, not by a mod or anything like that, but you can have a roommate and you don't control them. And I don't want it to be just for university like students but for everybody that would be so cool and add so much to the game when do y'all think that they're going to announce it like how many how much longer do y'all think that we're going to have to wait because i can't wait i really can't i feel like they've been on a roll spitting out these game packs and these expansion packs so hopefully it's not too far off in the distance but anyways yeah that's my um once for university and my thoughts kind of like on strangerville and how that's going i hope i've have i been calling it strangerville i hope so i hope i haven't been calling it strange town on accident um but yeah anyways here we are in the um little boy's bedroom which i think is so cute i gave him the little boy scout um for which i love to do i didn't even start playing with that until i started playing my current household not so berry um, I don't know, I just never really played with that feature, the Boy Scouts, but I think it's really cute how they did that. So they are adding a little bit more extracurricular activities. They add that in the drama club that you can do, which came with um, Get Famous, right? So yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I like it. It's a lot, you know, a lot better. They're giving us a little bit more, but I would definitely like to see more um, detail in, you know, not just university, but like school in general. So, yeah, that's why I said, okay, either get educated or get to school, not just university. That'd be really cool. But, anyways, here we are in the last bedroom. It is the little girl's room, and I gave her a very pink girly room, um, which I think is so cute. <laughs> and, um, I, like I said, I did give the little boy and the little girl both a desk in their room. So, you do have the option when they age up because, okay, 
they age up into teenagers. I'm sorry, but these two rooms right here are a lot smaller than the other two. <laughs> and I don't think you can squeeze a full-size bed in there. You might be able to, but probably not. Um, so they're probably just going to have to, you know, take some of their childish stuff around and kind of give it a little bit of a makeover when they age up. But you have the opportunity to give them a laptop as well. You know, if the mom and dad wanted to um, go and buy three laptops. But, you know, this house is not cheap. So I imagine that whatever the parents do, they're well off. They're comfortable. They don't really have to worry about money too much. So, yeah. <laughs> um yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it. I think this is starting to wrap up. I don't know what else I do after I do the little girl's room. What do I do? Oh, the hallway. Okay, duh. It was my least favorite part of every speed build is doing like the hallways, entryways, upstairs, landings. I hate it. It's just so repetitive. You just put the little end table, clutter it up, <laughs> some pictures on the wall, a few plants here and there. I just... It's so repetitive. That's why I don't like it. I, I try to save it the last thing that I always do, which, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap this up because after I finish this, I'm pretty sure I just, like, add a barbecue thing outside on the porch for them to barbecue if they wanted to. And that's a wrap. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this house, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. It is available for download on the gallery. My origin ID, everything is linked down below in the description box. Go give me a follow on there so you get to, you know, see my builds when they come up. It'll show up on your little news feed, who you're following. That'd be cool. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. And here's the screenshots. I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Take it in.